they're in limbo somewhere. The U.S. Postal Service, I've been doing this since early last year, so 10 months now I've been doing the eBay thing. This package for the Roseville candle holders for the purchaser is the first time that the U.S. Postal Service has gone haywire on me. <music>
but still great return and uh, i'm liking the teacups and saucers you know they sit for a while they're long tail stuff but they sell and it's uh very very good 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 profit on them because of how little i paid for them at auction four or five months ago this next one was interesting it was just thrown in the bottom of a box that i picked up a few months ago and uh, again probably not even a second thought for somebody it was a handmade ceremonial dagger uh, there's all kinds of different names for it depending on what ethnicity or religion you're talking about so i put that in the title and the description um, so that it had a wider audience but it sold for 17 dollars uh, i had knocked down the price a couple of times it started out at about 25 but i'll take 17 dollars for something that cost me probably 50 cents or less uh, plus another six dollars towards the shipping so it was a good sale and uh, you are allowed by the way to to ship knives and daggers and that kind of thing as long as the item itself is not prohibited or banned you can ship these things through the u.s postal service which i did but you just have to make sure that it's very very well protected and that there's no chance that it's going to poke through the end of whatever you put it in and cut or stab a member of the u.s postal service you don't want that to happen so this dagger when i packed it up had a lot of bubble wrap cardboard and then some more bubble wrap and then some more cardboard so i made sure there was no chance that it was going to be a problem and it already is arrived at its owner's home safely again next item something you you've never thought you would be able to sell this for a very healthy price i sold another set of four eight millimeter take-up reels for a film projector this one has a one big round one big five inch metal one and three smaller plastic ones. I still have another eight plastic ones that I'm going to list, uh, but they sold for $22 plus another $6 towards the shipping. And that's, I think the third time that I've sold eight millimeter take up reels because they've been coming in the auction boxes that I've been picking up. And again, these ones were just on a table that I picked up at the last auction just before Christmas and cost to me 50 cents, maybe 25 cents, 50 cents total for all four of those take-up reels and they sold for 22 bucks so good profit margin on those ones that was great up next really really nice set I, i'm i was glad that this sold because it was a beautiful set and the only the only other set that i could find of this is actually in a museum in dresden germany it is a beautiful made in west germany uh, cobalt blue and gold demitasse pair and there was two of them uh, the cup and saucers there was two of them uh kunst kronach i think is the name of the designer uh, but they sold for fifty dollars plus eight dollars towards the shipping and these ones cost me i think five dollars bought them with a few other uh, teacups and saucers at auction but i knew that these ones were very very good so i i only paid five dollars for the whole box so maybe three dollars of that was for these cups and $50 return. They were gorgeous, gorgeous set uh, with the cobalt blue and the gold on the inside of the cup. It was beautiful. And they have already arrived at their destination as well. And um, buyer was very happy with that purchase. Up next, a uh, peach luster glass set. I keep running into peach luster. It's one piece here, one piece there. But this one was a complete set of a creamer, a sugar, and then a covered dish. And all three of them together they sold for twenty dollars plus ten dollars towards the shipping uh beautiful what is it depression or carnival glass i forget which is which uh but yeah they were uh, a cute set and all together sold them for 20 bucks very happy with that again probably one to three dollars max cost to me so i'm making a good ten dollars profit at least on every item that i've sold this month and actually the return is a lot more on some of these items like those those uh, cobalt blue uh, demitasse cups that i probably made 30 dollars profit on on those two uh, and then the next two things coming up i made a really really good profit if you're with me for the last video of the online auction haul when i actually went to a town about th city 30 30 minutes away to pick up some old pictures of actors there are four pictures in total that I picked up for $3.60 cost Canadian. Well, two of them have already sold. In fact, they both sold within 24 hours of being listed. The first one is this one. It was William Gillette. He's the man who was the first ever Sherlock Holmes on stage and on radio. And this picture was in a frame. 
and I started the listing at $50 and I got an email from somebody asking how much I wanted for the picture without the frame. And I said, well, the value is in the picture. The frame really isn't worth anything. But because you're the first person to message me about this, I'm going to make you an offer of $44.99. So I took $5 off, 10%. And they bought it right away. As soon as they read the message, they accepted the offer and paid for it right away. So I got $45 plus $6 towards the shipping for the William Gillette picture. And then there's the Maud Adams picture. Maud Adams was one of the first ladies to play Peter Pan on Broadway. This picture is from 1901 was the date on it. And it sold within 12 hours, actually. I think I listed it on a Thursday night and it was sold by noon on Friday. And I got $30 for the Maud Adams picture. And it is going to a museum in her hometown in Pennsylvania. So I think that's pretty cool. One of the items that I've sold is going to end up in a museum because that was who the purchaser was, the lady's name. And she was the curator of one of the museums in Pennsylvania. And that's where it's going. So I thought that was cool. So, so far, two of the four pictures have sold for a total of $75 US. I paid $3 Canadian plus taxes for all four pictures. So it works out to about 75 cents per picture, a buck 50 so far for the two that I sold for $75 US. So I, I'm i really liking these online auctions because if you remember, I had the Santa Claus from earlier before Christmas, which sold for $350 and it cost me 40. And this being a $3 purchase so far already made $75 on those. So, so far so good for my online auction purchases. Last but definitely not least, is yet another piece of my Roseville collection. I can't say I have a Roseville collection anymore because I only have one piece left, another set of candle holders. This was the Roseville Peony candle holders. They sold for $25 plus $10 in shipping. These only cost me $5. These were one of the sets that I got when the person bidding against me at the auction went up for a smoke. So I got these for $5 Canadian. They sold for $25 US plus $10 towards the shipping. They're very light and uh, interesting story with this one. They're in limbo somewhere. The U.S. Postal Service, I've been doing this since la early last year. So 10 months now, I've been doing the eBay thing. This package for the Roseville candle holders for the purchaser is the first time that the U.S. Postal Service has gone haywire on me. It made it all the way from Southern Ontario to Western New York to within one hour of the purchaser over in Massachusetts. And then it started making its way back. And it ended up back in Buffalo about three days ago. We're talking 12 days have elapsed now since I shipped out this package. And it ended up all the way back in Buffalo. That's when I sent a letter to customer service for the US Postal Service. And now today or yesterday, it ended up back in Rochester and it's heading back east from Buffalo to Massachusetts. So the uh, purchaser has been very, very patient with me and with the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, she obviously understands that this is out of my control, that I shipped it. I think it was the day after she bought it. So I was very timely in my end of the bargain, but the USPS has had a little bit of issue in trying to figure out where exactly this uh, is going to go. Excuse me for a second. I have to go somewhere in a few minutes and that's uh, my other half reminding me that I have to be down there in a few minutes. So anyhow, I've been a good start, a uh, good return on investment, especially for all of these items that I paid a dollar for and I'm getting 30, 40, $75 for some of these items. So it's been a good, good start to 2020. And I'm going to hopefully keep up the momentum with more items from the auction hall that I went to just before Christmas and I'm going to show you a few of the items that are left still. I've got other things too, smaller things that are just, you know, basic run of the mill, going to get me 15 to $20 type of items. But uh, I thought I'd show you some of these uh, along with all the hats and along with all of the merry mushroom canisters. I have a few more things to show you. So let's start off with these. I'm sure many of you know what this is. This is a mason jar used for canning, for preserving goods. And I ended up with, in various boxes, not any one big lot of these, I ended up with about 20 of these. A couple of them are much older. Um, they are all the Canadian version, but 
uh, they sell. I looked them up and it's funny how they sell. I bundle them together. I'm probably going to do groups of, I think I ended up with 21 bottles total, jars. I'm going to bundle them up in groups of seven. So three packs of seven each, and they're going to go for $20. Total cost to me for all 21, probably about a buck and a half. So should be a good return on those. And they sell very well. Really good sell-through rate on mason jars. Good quality, especially older ones. Even without the lids, people buy the lids separately. But the good quality mason jars, they sell. They do really well on eBay. So they will be listed very soon. There's this vase. I have to show you this vase. It is a beautiful hand-painted vase made in Portugal. And again, this was just thrown in on a table. One of the tables I got for $5 and uh, looked it up. And it's uh, very, very nice. Very, very well-made, desirable, vintage, 1980s, I think it said, if I remember correctly, 1980s. But it's numbered and painted, made in Portugal. That is on the website right now for $25. And again, because I'm buying a table full of 15 to 20 items for $5, cost to me it's about 50 cents if that so if it sells for 25 dollars great return great great return i'm not trying to really blow through this really fast but um you know i did a long segment there on what's sold so i don't want to take up any more of your time than necessary and showing you the last of this auction hall a couple more things this is old style isn't that old style did you did your parents have one of these <laughs> my mom had a few of these Ceramic flowers always, always have a chip on them. You always, always will find a chip on these. Now, this one was is in great shape, I have to say. For as big as this is and as delicate as this is, it's just got a little bit of chipping on this one super delicate blue flower right here, purplish blue flower. It's got a tiny, tiny little bit of flea bite marks and one bit of one area is, is chipped. But other than that, it's in gorgeous shape, which you don't usually find. There's usually a couple of petals snapped off or whatever. This one is by uh, Radner, which is very well known for making ceramic floral bouquets. It is on the website right now for, I want to say $29, maybe $25. I think it's maybe $25. A lot of my mid-range stuff I put up there for $24.99. I had a few bucks in for shipping, and then I know I'm still going to make profit on it because most things don't cost me more than about... 12 to 15 dollars to ship anywhere in north america except california i'm not complaining really i'm not i love all my california buyers it's just hilarious to me that me in the east is selling all my stuff a lot of my stuff to california anyhow beautiful radnor ceramic flower bouquet and hopefully it goes again cost to me 75 cents last but not least if you're a follower of the channel, longtime follower of the channel, you've seen these before. Not this exact set, but something similar. I have, let me turn these so you can see them, a complete set of the Winston Churchill World War II books. Again, I got these back in the summertime of 2019 and sold them for $70 or $75 US because they all had really 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 nice clean dust covers on them unfortunately the ones that i got this time the dust covers are a little beat up as you can see and as you saw in the thumbnail but they have dust covers on them i want to thank everybody in the thrifters and pickers group on facebook uh, started by jocelyn the crazy lamp lady because i asked should i leave the dust covers on they're in pretty rough shape one of the books does not have a dust cover and everybody to the person told me, leave the dust covers on. No matter how beat up they are, they add value to the books and they still protect the books, even when they've got rips and tears and folds and all that kind of stuff. So thank you everybody on the Thrifters Group. Um, I've got these listed now for $50, $49.99. Um, no, $54.99. I don't remember. $54. There's a 50 in there somewhere. It's either, it's between 50 and $59. Um, but because of the shape of the dust covers, I did a lot of looking, a lot of looking at the comps when they had ripped up dust covers or no dust covers and that kind of thing. 
No dust covers were going for the set for about $35. Really good dust covers still in the $70 to $80 range. So I thought I'd split the difference. It's in the $54 to $59 range. And they should sell. Getting lots of traction already. Viewers, watchers. It's historic. Historic uh, hardcover books. And people like that kind of stuff. And especially it's an entire set. When you can sell the entire set of something, do it. Don't break up sets if you don't have to, unless you find that an individual book is getting you more money one by one. But this one definitely, sorry about the banking, making more money as a complete set. So I'm going to keep it together, and I'm sure it's not going to be long before it is on its way to California. Well, that's it. I, I you know, I, I'm done with the auction hall from before Christmas as far as showing you the pieces. Um, you know, the, the stuff that, I, as I mentioned, the stuff that's left is, um, is you know, smaller stuff, just just knickknacks here and there and small little trinkets. So I'm not going to bother with uh, taking up your time on these episodes with that. So now I am in the process of finishing the hats. Uh, if you remember, I had 50 ladies hats that I purchased. Uh, the deal for the local person to buy 20 of them fell through. Um, she really wasn't that hot on them. So uh, I have started seriously listing the hats. I think I've got about eight to 10 of them up there right now. I'm going to be doing a whole lot of picture taking actually the rest of today and tomorrow. So I can get all the hats out there, especially the darker colored ones that are more wintry type hat. I want to get them on the site as quickly as possible. And they're getting, it's interesting to me. I don't, I haven't, I don't sell a lot of clothing or any clothing hardly. And the hats are getting a lot of uh, interest, a lot of, views and so we'll see how soon somebody decides to uh, push the button and hit buy it now so we'll see anyhow so that's what's sold that's what I have to sell and it's been a pretty good start to 2020 how has your start to 2020 been leave your comment below the video and I do ask one favor of you if you could please hit the like button down below it does give this video and all my videos traction when you hit the like button it does show up in other people's recommendations when they are looking for similar thrifting and auction haul and what's sold on ebay type videos so i would very very much appreciate that and i really do appreciate everybody who likes the videos and subscribes to the channel slowly slowly growing i would like to go it a little faster but i i, I understand it's a it's a grind to begin and it's been uh, it's still fun and i'm still going to be throwing out there what I've sold and what I pick up at the auctions. And I hope uh, I do give you a little bit of information and or slash entertainment when you do come to visit us here at M cubed. Anyhow, it's time to go. I have to go babysit my grandson because his grandmother has to go pick up his older brother. Anyhow, thanks for dropping by. I will see you very soon on another episode of M cubed. Cheers. Mm -hmm.